Did you usually wear shorts? Excuse me? Where's the package? Mia, hey, you have to ask. Sorry. Sorry about that. Um, how can I help you? I'm looking for Frank Steele. Oh, yeah. Two floors up. Poor Pete. I buzz his apartment, right? Yeah, yeah. No, people have to buzz here because he broke his buzzer. Three times. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. What? Your shirt. You're pregnant. No, this... No, it's, laun it's um, laundry day. Oh. oh. <laughs> it's, fine. it's totally fine. I know, it's totally fine. <laughs> um, how come you're here to see Frank? Taking him to the doctor. Hmm. Doesn't someone normally come by and take him? It's like kind of loud. Certainly. <laughs> That's my father. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure you just have to get to know him. And right. he's great. No, he's... actually, you don't need to get to know him. He's dead. Oh, Jesus. No, it's all I'm, right. I'm so sorry. It's all right. I'm... It's all right. Okay. This is one of the most awkward conversations I've had in a very long time. It is not the most awkward one I've had this week. Really? father died. Yeah. I... When I have any fond inkling of that age, that's what I think of. But of course, the worst was when I went home after play practice, and my father would smoke these cigars and always have the TV blaring like four bars too loud. I remember getting into the front door and catching that smell and hearing the TV and just being so sad that I was back home. And then the only thing that was actually worse was when I'd get home and he wasn't there. And then Saturdays turned into Sundays and Sundays turned into Wednesdays and he was gone more and more. Now Frank is dying of cancer. And Matt Rockham, well, I heard that, I heard that he moved to Seattle, and he's an architect now. I think you're doing a really good job with that little girl. I can't believe you told me that shower story while you were sitting on that.